Welcome to my video on installing OSX Leopard onto a Lenovo S10 netbook via USB flash drive. This video is going to move fast, so let's begin. I'm going to be using a SanDisk Cruiser 4 gig flash drive, which is a U3 smart drive. And please note during the screen capture of the Mac screens, I may have lost a few frames, which I noticed left out a mouse click or two. So I'll be as descriptive as possible and highlight the areas that need attention because of this. All the software I refer to has links and or info in the description. If your USB drive is a U3 smart drive like mine, go to u3.com to get rid of the U3 software. Software, go to support and then choose how do I uninstall U3 uh, then click the link for remove U3 and save the file to your desktop and once that file saves to your desktop go ahead and run that program and when it opens click next uh, make sure no is selected and click format and wait for it to format and then when it finishes click done now everyone regardless whether you have a U3 drive or not uh, open a command prompt and type disk part. A new window will open and in that window type list disk. All your drives or your PC will appear which can include the hard drive, camera memory cards, and of course your USB flash drive. Mine appears to be disk 2 and to verify this I can remove the USB drive, rerun list disk, and now it's gone. Plugging in the USB drive back in, uh, rerunning list disk, and there it is again. So now uh, we are going to type select disk 2 or your USB disk number and press enter, then type clean and press enter. Now create partition primary, then select partition 1. And then we're going to make that active. And then format uh, with the format fs equals fat32 command. And all of this will make sure you have a completely blank disk and clean master boot record. And when it's finished uh, formatting, type exit and then close uh, all the windows and remove the USB drive. Now we need to get to a Mac, or in my case a PC that dual boots OS X, and you're going to need OS X tools and the Wind OS X 86 ISO ready to go uh, before proceeding. Uh, all the info and links are in the description. I'll move my ISO out of the download folder also and onto the desktop to make things easier. And after I do that, uh, go ahead and plug in your USB drive and you should see it appear on the desktop. And now that that's there, go to Disk Utilities. And once you're in Disk Utilities, uh, go ahead and select that USB drive. And with it selected, click the Erase tab. Make sure the volume is set to Mac OS Extended Journaled and name it OS X. Click Erase and then when the box pops up, click Erase again and it'll format rather quickly. And then when it's finished, going to click the Restore tab at the top and drag the ISO from the left side of the desktop into the source box and drag the OS X drive from the right side of the desktop into the destination box and then click Restore. The whole process takes about 20 minutes and then when it's done, if you wish, you can click the OS X, OS X drive in the left window pane to check the space used to verify it was completed. And uh, once you do that, go ahead and close Disk Utilities. And now we're going to open OS X 86 Tools. And once that opens, we're going to click the button that says Install EFI Run F Disk. Choose OS X as the disk to use, which is your flash drive. And we're going to leave PC EFI V8 as the EFI to install. Then click in Install EFI. And when it says it's installed, click Run F Disk. Uh, my video skips a frame, so you won't see me actually click Run F Disk, but I do. And it uh, finishes almost immediately. And once that's done, close OS X 86 Tools. And with that done, you can eject the USB drive from the system and remove it from the computer. Now let's insert that USB drive into your S10 and boot it up. 
and don't touch anything after you boot it. Uh, a countdown will show up on the screen, just let it expire, and the installation will automatically begin. Now when the welcome screen appears, go up to Utilities and choose Disk Utility. And when that opens, select your hard drive. Yours may be bigger or smaller and more, uh, more than likely has more partitions listed than mine does if it's never been altered uh, since I've already altered my partition table in the past. Uh, but select the drive and select the Erase tab and choose Mac OS Extended Journal. Uh, for the volume format and then go ahead and name it Mac OS X and then once you do that go ahead and click erase and then erase again in the pop-up box and it will format rather quickly and after it's finished close the disk utility and uh, don't worry about the MS-DOS uh, reappearing in the volume format drop-down box. It just goes back to the default. Uh, you could check the drive info at the bottom to uh, verify if you wanted to. Uh, and now once you go ahead and close the disk utility, the uh, installation screen will pop back up and continue with the installation. Uh, you'll have to agree to the terms that are shown and then once you do that go ahead and choose Mac OS X as the drive to install to and click continue and then go ahead and click install now, after roughly about 20 minutes or so your machine will reboot uh, don't touch any keys it's okay if the flash drive remains plugged in uh, and the welcome screen will appear the welcome setup will fail if you try to complete it so hold down the power button power off the system and remove the USB drive then reboot and at the prompt with the countdown, press any key before it expires. And when boot is displayed, type dash S and press enter. And at the root prompt, uh, type the text shown and press enter. And sorry for the shaky camera, can't do screen captures on a, uh, the actual install, unfortunately. After you type this, uh, it's going to work for a minute or so, and then when the root prompt uh, comes back, uh, go ahead and type the text that's shown and press enter again. And now we're going to change our working directory, so enter the text that's shown and press enter. And then once you do that, at the next prompt, uh, type the command that's shown and press enter. And this will bypass the automatic setup. And since we're doing that, we're going to have to set our own password uh, since we're skipping that step in the automatic setup. So enter the password command as shown, press enter, type in a password to your uh, liking and press enter. And then it'll ask you to verify the password, retype it, press enter. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and type exit at the prompt and press enter. And uh, once you do that, in a few moments you'll have the login box pop up. Go ahead and enter root as your username and enter the password you just created. Uh, go ahead and log in and uh, after you do that the OS X desktop will appear and that's it. You're running OS X on your S10 and uh, in my next video I'll show you how to get everything working as it should such as sound, wireless, and other items that are currently broken. Uh, I'll also get you updated to the current latest and greatest release which at this time is 10.5.6 so look for that video uh, very very shortly probably within the next couple days and subscribe now and uh, rate, comment and please get in touch and thank you as always and good luck